This video is about how to compile the Viewtech network driver for the PFSense router. If you're familiar with PFSense, you know Intel NIC will work better with PFSense. With the unsupported NIC, we'll have low up and download speed, lost package, timeouts, and no connections. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compile the driver by yourself. Let's dive into the process. First, we need to download a couple things on the internet. We need to grab the virtual machine, any VM or physical machine will work. I'm going to use the virtual box for this case. Then get the FreeBSD ISO image from their website. If your PFSM running 2.4.4, use 11.2. If your PFSM running 2.45 using 11.3, if your PFSM running 2.5.0 beta, use 12.0. Mine is 2.4.5-1 stable. So I download the 11.3 ISO. The last thing we need is the Realtek driver. Go to Realtek website, get the one for FreeBSD, just click that and type any email will work. No email confirm required here. Next, unzip the network driver two times. Copy those files to your USB sticks for later use. I'm not going to show you how to install the virtual box here. Basically, just keep click next and then finish. Similar to install FreeBSD, next and finish. Couple things I want to mention. We may want to change more CPU cores for faster compile speed because that may take more than an hour if you use only a single core. Also during the installation, make sure you select the system source tree or source code. After the installation, log into the root to make things easier. First, we need to modify the kernel configuration by typing vi space forward slash usr forward slash src forward slash sys forward slash amd64 forward slash conf forward slash generic capital. If you are not familiar with VR, you can use Nano, but you need to install for that, which leaves us another extra steps. Just bear with me here, it will be okay. Use the up and down keys on the keyboards, scroll down half of the page, point the cursor at any point of this line, hit DD on your keyboard to delete the entire line, then hit the escape key, then type colon wq enter. Next, edit the bootloader file by typing vi space forward slash boot forward slash loader dot com. Type the letter i for insert, then type if underscore re underscore low equal parentheses capital yes close parentheses hit the escape key to finish then type colon wq enter to write and quit next we build and install the kernel by cd to the directory forward slash usr forward slash src then type the following make sure everything is correct so type make space build kernel space capital curd conf equal capital generic space ampersand ampersand space make space install kernel space capital curve conf equal capital generics 
This may take an hour. For now, just sit back and relax. Check out my other video from my channel. When it finished, reboot the system. Install the USB we made earlier. Hit the lower right control key and the home key on your keyboard. Select the USB drive. Now the VM detects that. We then type G port space list space DA0. To find out the partition number, on this case is once. Then we type mon space dash t space ms dots fs space dash o space large space forward slash dev forward slash da0 s1 space forward slash mnt then we cd to the folder we made earlier then copy those two files to the forward slash usr forward slash src forward slash sys forward slash dev forward slash re then we build the driver by typing cd space forward slash usr forward slash src forward slash sys forward slash modules forward slash re Make space, clean space, ampersand ampersand space, make. Luckily, that only take few seconds this time. For optional, we can back up the OKO file in the kernel by cd to forward slash boot forward slash kernel. Then rename it by using mv command. Next, copy the new driver to the kernel and edit the permission by typing cp space forward slash usr forward slash src forward slash sys forward slash modules forward slash re forward slash if underscore re dot ko space forward slash boot forward slash kernels forward slash if underscore re dot ko space ampersand ampersand space chmart space 0555 space forward slash boot forward slash kernel forward slash if underscore re dot ko space Ampersand ampersand space child space root colons wheel space forward slash boot forward slash kernel forward slash if underscore re dot ko <sighs> Then we put the systems again Copy the new driver to the USB sticks first. We need to mount the drive again. Type mount space dash t space ms dot fs space dash o space large space forward slash dev forward slash da0 s1 space forward slash mnt. Enter cp space forward slash boot forward slash kernel forward slash if underscore re dot ko space forward slash mnt forward slash output. In case we need the backup file, I also copied that too. You could totally skip that. Among the USB, move on to the PFSAM box. You could SSH or access locally. I'm doing this locally. 
Type A to enter to the shelf. Plug the USB into the PFSense box. Mount it by typing DA1S1 instead of DA0S1 this time. Copy the KO file to the kernel by type cp space forward slash mnts forward slash outputs forward slash if underscore re dot ko space forward slash boots forward slash kernel change the permission by typing chmart 0555 space forward slash boots forward slash kernel forward slash if underscore re dot ko space ampersand ampersand space child space root colon real space forward slash boots forward slash kernel forward slash if underscore re dot ko lastly edit the bootloader configuration file by vi space forward slash boot forward slash loader dot com adding the line if underscore re underscore low equal to yes then colon wq to save that mice was already at that that's it all set reboot your box you good to go enjoy the faster speeds with the new driver create by yourself Hope this video is helpful for you. Feel free to ask if you have any trouble to build this. If you're new to the channel, consider to subscribe set. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm Neil. Here's how to IT. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.